Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 268. That is, what is use case testing? Let me answer. So what is use case testing? Before understanding what is use case testing, we need to first understand what is meant by a use case. Okay, let's understand what are use cases first. After that, use case testing. So what are use case? What is a use case or what are use cases? Use cases describe the functional requirements of a software from the end user's perspective, okay? So who will create these use cases? The business analyst is going to create these use cases and these use cases describe the functional requirements of a software, okay? From the end user's perspective, okay? So uh, it's a better way of, uh, okay? It's a better way of representing the requirements of the software, guys. In simple words, if I have to say, you see, instead of writing in a textual format, if you describe a functional requirement of a software that the client is expecting the developer to develop or tester to test, if that particular requirement can be represented in the form of a use, use case instead of normal text format, okay, in the end user's perspective, that will be more better, right? So that's what is the purpose of the use case. And who is going to create the use case? Business analyst, okay? So business analyst is going to create these use cases and uh, incorporate them in part of the BRS document, business requirement specification document, or the business analyst may provide this uh, use case document separately also sometimes, okay? Fine. So uh, in, in a while, I'll show you uh, the diagrammatical represent uh, representation of a use case after explaining some basics of the use case. I'll explain for now, let's go with the theory, okay? So with the help of the use cases, which are developed by, which are created by business analysts, the developers and testers can understand the application very well, okay? So instead of giving a text and uh, asking the developers and testers to understand the functionality, functional requirements of the software, if, if the business analyst creates the use cases and provides them to the developers and testers, then developers and testers can understand the actual requirements of the software very well, okay? And that too from the end user's perspective, okay? So now let's understand the basics of the use case, like how use cases will be created by the business analyst, uh, what are the basic elements of the use case, how business analyst will create the use case, everything let's understand from these basics, okay? So there are something known as use case diagram that business analyst will create. As part of creating the use cases, the business analyst will create use case diagrams. So that use case diagrams generally include some elements like system, which is represented in the form of this, uh, this kind of rectangle. And then there will be something known as in the use case diagram, the business analyst may use some actors, okay? I'll give an example, guys, uh, just for, for now, just go through the elements one by one. Then use case, use case is represented like this, oval symbol and relationship between any of this system or actor or use case is represented in the form of the arrow, okay? The form of arrow. Useful for communicating ideas, requirements or application flows with others, guys, okay? So what is the purpose of the use case diagrams? So instead of giving the text, if I give, if the business analyst give this kind of diagram represented with all these use case elements, okay, diagram elements, it will be very easy to communicate the ideas, okay? So you can explain, you can transfer your, whatever the business idea you have in your mind, requirement you have in your mind, okay? Whatever the application flow you have in your mind, you can communicate easily to others. That's what is the benefit. Example, okay, this is very important guys. Example, as you can see, there's an example for a banking, banking app. Okay, this is a use case diagram. Let's say the business analyst has created this use case diagram with all the different type of uh, use case elements like actors, use case, uh, the relation, the system, the blue color box is the system here. Banking app is the system here. Okay, banking app, app is the system. And here we have some actors like customer. There are different type of customers like new customer and ex existing customer. And other actor is bank here. On the, on the other side, we have the bank as an other actor. And you see the customer use case, use case, these orange color things are the use cases, okay? The login use case, okay? So to verify the password, login use case, to display the, uh, if you give wrong password, display log, login error, okay? That is another use case. The customer can view balance in the bank. The customer can deposit the amount in the bank. The customer can make payment in the bank, okay? Two type, uh, different type of payment the customer can make using either credit card payment uh, the customer can make or the customer can make can can make uh, using the savings okay from the savings account also can pay okay you can make the payment like that you see uh, this is more easy to understand than the text right instead of giving the text if the 
business analysts create this kind of use case diagram with all these different type of use case elements and uh, give it to the developers and testers the developers and testers can understand the application more well okay developers uh, can understand the requirements well and uh, can develop the application well and testers can understand the requirements and can write proper test cases and uh, all those stuff okay so uh, here guys uh, how to create this use case diagram is out of topic okay let's not worry about that so the question actually uh, we got in the interview is like uh, we generally get in the interviews what is use case testing okay that's what is the question but to understand what is use case testing first we have to understand what is a use case so till here i explained what exactly is the use case with these four points i explained what exactly is the use case use case describe the functional requirements of a software in the end users perspective created by business analyst and it is very helpful for developers and testers in understanding the application well and basics like different elements of the use case and uh, example of the use case okay that i explained now what exactly is use case testing is the question so what exactly is use case testing so before going to use case testing we have to understand that there are different test design techniques okay so there are different test design techniques that software testers follow to create the test to design the test to derive the test for in order to perform testing later okay the tests have to be created okay there are different techniques guys okay what are the different techniques we have so used for deriving the test cases and optimizing the test data during the software testing is the test case design techniques need guys i already covered this uh, as part of one of the previous video okay uh, i took a separate uh, video okay interview question on the test design techniques you can refer that but for now let's understand that there are three types of test design techniques that is black box test design techniques experience based test design techniques and structure based test design techniques under black box test design technique i already explained what is equivalence class partitioning boundary value analysis decision table okay transition testing already covered guys and there is one more uh, these are already covered as part of the previous sessions guys but i didn't explain about the use case testing so far so use case testing belong to the black box test design technique okay we have other type of uh, other category of test design techniques but uh, use case testing belong to the black box test design technique okay uh, here we have experience based test design technique okay and uh, structure based uh, test design techniques are also there but use case testing belongs to the black box test design technique category where software testers can uh, take the help of these use case diagrams given by the business analyst and derive the test cases okay by looking at this diagram we can create the test case for example if you see login okay verify password so that means uh, the scenario is login scenario and uh, the test case for the login scenario are what if you try to log in with valid credentials what if you try to log in with invalid credentials what if you try to log in with invalid username and valid password okay what if you try to log in with uh, valid username and invalid password what if you try to log in without providing the credentials okay like that for each and every use case you can derive a lot of test cases right so that type of uh, that type of test design technique which can help the software testers in deriving the test cases with the help of the use case diagrams given by the business analyst is known as use case testing which is one of the black box test design text, uh, black box test design technique which falls under the test design techniques okay one of the category of the test design techniques this is what is use case testing guys so hope guys you understood what exactly is use case testing in this session okay so it's a test design technique which falls into the black box category okay so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye